folks. So in this video, I want to show off one of my favorite development plugins. Um, and we'll also explain why it's maybe not a great idea to install it on your site. So it's called Query Monitor. I don't have it installed on this site. So I'll go ahead and run a, the search against the WordPress plugin directory. Query Monitor is basically around SQL queries. So if you don't know what that is, this plugin is probably not going to be very useful to you. An SQL query is how WordPress gets data out of its so-called database. And uh, SQL query is the language that we use to see those. So how does Query Monitor work? So I've installed and activated Query Monitor. It's right here. If I come in here and go to Tools. Sorry, so right here at this top, I can see that this page has had 0.33 seconds of queries. If I go visit around my site, I am seeing in this box right here how Query Monitor works. So Query Monitor is useful primarily if a plugin or something about your theme is doing a lot of work. You'll notice as I click around this site that we get on this recommended products page a slightly slower result. So that's an example of a place where Query Monitor is alerting us to this page could be slow. This one was even slower. What's going on here? Well, that is what you use Query Monitor to dive into. So if I look at the slow queries here, again, if you do not speak SQL, this will just look like gibberish to you. But I can see that WordPress is using these different functions to get different values on this page, and that some of these queries are actively what Query Monitor considers slow. So these are ones that took a while. You can see one of these took a half second and it was looking up the easy opt-in settings while building this page. Honestly, a half second isn't too bad, but a load time of three seconds is kind of bad. In this case, I think I'm just dealing with an uncached page. And as I click around, you'll notice these pages get faster. So Query Monitor is used to debug which queries that WordPress runs in the background get slow. And if you are in the business of optimizing WordPress sites, this is so crucial, especially if you're optimizing the server side part of it. But for most of us, most of the time, this is vastly overkill. So I just want you to know that Query Monitor is a great free plugin if you ever want to debug some slow queries on a WordPress site, but that you probably don't need to use it unless you're like, I think I have slow queries on this WordPress site.